Good morning. It's day two and breakfast not quite as exciting this morning, but needs must, so let's get cracking. Someone else wants his breakfast, don't they? Yeah? Yeah? Are you taking me to your food? Are you taking me to your food? People may get mad about this, but it's just it's just a fruit salad. <laughs> Grace has got some of the uh, flapjack that the Nostalgia Nerd yeah. sent. So, um, I mean, this, I mean, it, it is what it is, it's fruit salad, but with a soya yoghurt, raspberry and cranberry. I really hope these taste nice. I've never had a yoghurt that's not dairy before. It, it, it's got the, the consistency of yoghurt, so people get mad when I say yoghurt. What flavour have you got? Raspberry and cranberry. Mm. Is it nice? Yeah. You're not sure? There's something about it, do you want to try it? Yeah. There's something about it. It's very raspberry. It's nice. I think there's something to do with the aftertaste. Might be in my mind though. <clears throat> yeah, I don't know. I don't get that. It's but, nice. Yeah. Uh, the fruit's fruit. It's vegan fruit, right? Going for a walk. Yeah. It's very warm. Yeah. You're right. Yeah. What's the matter? <laughs> don't trust you. Why? I don't know. It's um, very bouncy. It is. What, what do you, I'm sorry. I, my arm isn't stabilised. And I don't have a GoPro. Or a Steadicam. Or a Steadicam. Yes, we're just going out for a bit of a wander. It's a very nice day. Um, it's very hot. It's very hot. We're going to go home and cook some dinner in a bit. Yeah. But, um, yes. Let's go frolic. Grace, look at the sheep. They're watching it. Don't they look delicious? No. It's watching you. It knows what you've just said. <laughs> These guys have the right idea. Chilling out in the shade. Gosh, what have we found? How many bodies do you think are down there? <laughs> yeah, definitely can't see the bottom. Well, after that adventuring, it's time to cook a roast dinner um, with potatoes, stuffing, carrots, cabbage and leek, broccoli and cauliflower. Um, what are they courgettes? I forgot what they were called. Um, vegan gravy. And the star of the show, a nut roast. <laughs> <laughs> Which looks like stuffing, so it's going to be interesting to have these two things together. Um, this, this is, this, um, yeah. I'm... I think it sounds nice. I like cashews. Hopefully, it, it's nice. Yeah, we um, we have to like add water to it and then mould it into shape. <laughs> We've got no idea, basically. Yes. But we're going to have a look at the instructions. Gonna, remain open-minded, yeah, though. I think I'm, on saying that, I'm looking forward to it. Um, so let's get cracking. <laughs> right. Whilst Grace prepares the vegetables, I'm going to prepare the the nut roast. Um, so empty contents of sachet into bowl. Add 200 mils of cold water. So. Like, yeah. This is just this is just stuffing mix. I'll tell you in a moment. Probably stuff him. Nuts. <laughs> yeah, smell. Oh, yeah. Um, then I add 200ml of cold water. Well, I hope this absorbs all the water because it's currently a slot. Oh well, so um, well, that's it for five minutes. I imagine that it will do something in that time. So uh, yes, see you then. Well, it's had five minutes and it has firmed up. So the next step is to transfer it into the baking tray provided. So. So I guess like compact it down so it becomes a loaf. Love that sound. So there we go. Then it goes into the oven for 35 to 40 minutes, and um, it smells like stuffing. I don't know if we'll need the stuffing. Mm, I think we should. Do you want the stuffing anyway? Yeah. Okay. At least we, we know we like stuffing. Yeah, exactly. So yes, uh, potatoes are currently boiling. As you can probably hear. Um, 
I mean, Grace has made some lovely looking uh, veg we're going to roast. We're going to boil those. We're going to like steam the, the cabbage. Um, yeah, I, um, I'm, I'm optimistic today. I think it's going to be nice, yeah. Yes. Right. Gravy's on the go. They're on the go. Ooh. That's on the go. And this is all looking and smelling nice, so I say we're about ready to serve. Well, that's one way to do it. Come on. Use them muscles. Oh no, it's broken. Oh no. Well, it comes out easy, you know? Yeah. Okay. Our nice, even, neat slices, please. I said nice, even, neat slices, please. <laughs> <laughs> Just as it comes. So, it smells nice. Yeah, and um, as you can see on the plates, is um, it's the stuffing. So it's going to be very stuffingy. I want to try some too. Try some. Let's try some. Yummy. Is it nice? It's just stuffing. It's all right. Hmm. Oh yeah, that's nice. Mm. Mm. Ooh. Yeah, it's I sweet. mean, it's quite sweet. Yeah, it's probably the. Yeah, that's nice. Whatever these bits are. Carrot. <laughs> okay, so it's gonna be nice. Yeah. So let's see how we get on. So, turns out this gravy is absolutely disgusting. Yeah. So we're trying to add things to it to make it not horrible. So far, we're unsuccessful, but hopefully, <laughs> if you throw in enough stuff. Any better? Not really. Not really. Oh, well, it's weird bitter, isn't it? Mm. Strange. <coughs> I mean, I'm going to have to put it on because otherwise so it's so dry. By the way, those potatoes are pretty epic. We might just put a little bit on stuffing. Yeah, just to moisten it a little bit. I would normally like drown my dinner, but... Yeah, if you don't mind just putting a little bit on mine as well, then please. Okay. Once again, we've got to stay at this kitchen. Vegan cooking requires... A lot of prep. A lot. I mean, to be fair, even with a regular roast, it would be messy still, so... Do you want it all over yours, or do you want it just on your stuffing? Kind of on a little bit on the veg as well. Maybe, maybe keep the potatoes... Spoil free. Spoil... <laughs> Good mad. Don't go mad! Well, we're being slobs and eating it on our knees. So what? Roast carrot. That tastes fine. <laughs> okay. Let's have some. With some gravy. I really like that nut roast. It's really chunky. It's got the, It's definitely got like the nutty texture, mm -hmm. hasn't it? It's really got a lot of flavour. I think it's really nice. Yeah, it's it's good. I mean, don't get me wrong, I'm still not sort of like, yeah, I'll have that over a roast chicken, but mm. it's really nice. Yeah. The proof that Grace has it, and you're going to eat it today, unlike your mac Yeah, I'm going to eat it today. Sorry, your, your mac. So, um, hmm. Actually, I think I've had some gravy on my nut roast, and, it, and it's, it's better. It's not too bad, is it? But yeah, that is it's dreadful gravy. But this is okay. Maybe um, <laughs> maybe we'll do a little bit of a conclusion afterwards. Because this is the quintessential British meal, mm. I would say. Over everything else, it's this. Definitely. If you disagree, then um, you know, say so in the comments, as I'm sure you will. <laughs> but it's it's yeah, these potatoes, though, mate. They're really good. Mm. Well, that's a good sign, wouldn't you say? Yeah, it was, it was tasty. Two empty plates. It um, it was dry. Yeah. So it needed the gravy, which, when put on stuff, was all right. It was okay. Um, but on its own, it's it's manky. But yeah, I've um, which is did you did you miss meat? Would you say? I didn't miss it, but it's not like I would prefer to have it. Yeah, I I'm the same. I. I'm not s sad that it wasn't there, but I wish it hadn't been, yeah. if that makes sense. It was very, very tasty, though. Because, I mean, like, when you 
think of a, a veggie or a vegan roast dinner, everybody laughs and says, oh, it's a nut mm -hmm. roast, but um, it was actually quite tasty. It was okay. It was basically, we had two stuffings on the yeah. plate, I would say, but yeah, that was good. Um, but we do have something for pudding, don't we? We do. Which we're quite excited about, so let's go get it. Everfresh banana cake. There we go, if you wouldn't mind doing the honours. Courtesy of the Nostalgia Nerd. Here we go, here we go, try. Mm-hmm. There's your weapon. Thank you. Oh, it's stodgy. It's very hard. It's very dry. It needs that cream. But it's nice, it's nice and banana -y. But it's the driest cake I've ever had. <laughs> what do you think? It's very dry. Yeah. Um, but it is nice. It reminds me of the Soreen cake. Yes. Yeah. Minus the kind of the sultanery. Mm, yes. Yeah. But it is nice, and like you say, the cream makes it. Yes. So I think we'll eat it and enjoy it. Yeah. But I don't know if I'd buy it if I wasn't no, doing this week. I wouldn't buy it. Right, because we're serious about this, we need to work out what milk alternative is best. So we have five here. We did have six. Yeah. Um, but we used it yesterday for the mac and cheese. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and that was unsweetened soy, soy milk. Yeah. Which we did taste at the time, but mm -hmm. we didn't film it. And it was bland. It was bland. Yeah. yeah. It was... It had a bit weird texture as well, didn't it? Yeah, quite oily. That's we did comment on that, slimy. I think. It was yeah, so it was weird. So mm. we've got four milks and one chocolate milk. So and we also have hiding behind them tea. Tea. Obviously. So we can we can try them as milk and we can try them in tea. I've heard some curdle. Oh no. So we will find out <laughs> as we go along which ones that is. So shall we start at this end yeah. and work our way down? Okay, so we've got the first up is Unsweetened almond milk. Mm. So let's try this. I think I've had this before. I haven't. I don't think. Um, if I remember right, it it does taste quite sort of nutty. Unsurprisingly, I suppose. Okay. So, do you want to go first or me? You can. It's slightly darker than. Does milk. it? Yeah. It's quite um, almost like a brownie kind of colour yeah. to it. I don't know if you can see that. Doesn't smell of anything. Oh. Doesn't really, I mean, it tastes a bit nutty. Mm. It's yeah. a lot sort of creamier, I would. That's not, you know what I mean? It's not bad. I, would, I wouldn't mind it on cereal, but I don't know how that's going to taste in a tea. Yeah. Shall we try it? Yeah. You want to stir? But it hasn't curdled. So oh, that's a good. Bit more. That's really strong. That's, that's builds tea. Yeah, you need to put a lot in. Yeah. So there we go. Okay. Riveting stuff. Just tastes like tea. So actually, that I would use that in tea. Yeah. But you, that's quite nice. That's easily winning so far, mm. considering it's the But you first do one. need a lot of it. Yeah, you do. That to was make it like not two strong. or three times as much as you would put in a normal tea. Yeah. Should we try this one next? This is like oat milk. I think this is going to be quite nice. No idea how you milk an oat. Yeah. Again, there's not really any smell. Oh! Oh my god! Is that supposed to look like that? Is it? Is that? Is that? It's no. Green. No. That's not right, surely. <laughs> I don't know if I want to taste that now. What's the date on it? Twenty nineteen. Is that how it's supposed to look? I don't. Should we have shaken that? <laughs> well, it's got a film on it. Put the little shake it. I don't know. Oh, it does say shake. It me. does say shake. Holy crap! That's awful. You should read things. Mm, yeah. <laughs> oh, please be better. Please look better. A bit oh, better. a little bit better. Oh my god! Look at the difference uh. in the colour. Oh, let's <laughs> not drink that one. Mmm. <sighs> mmm, yummy. That's really nice. It tastes really oaty. 
It does. Mm, that's imagine nice. That'd be nice on cereal. Or porridge. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That'd make a good porridge. That's really nice. Although, I think the same... taste ready. Really? It's the same kind of texture as well. They don't really have a um, sort of... They're not as thin as normal milk. Need some more. Need some more. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Can you taste it? A little. It's because probably there's so much of it in there. Ooh, yeah, that's not a nice tea. It's not great. No. There's definitely an oat taste to the tea. That really put me off, though. <laughs> yes. And they should make that a lot bigger because I don't know if you can it's see it. It's very small, it's isn't it? Like tiny. I guess it's just if you have oat milk regularly, it's just one of those things that well, you know. Yeah, but if you don't, do. then. What's this? Rice milk. I'm going to shake this anyway. I've always anyway. been interested in trying on rice milk. It, so. I feel like it's safe to just shake them all now. Yeah, <laughs> definitely following that. Well, this one's very white. Oh, is it? <gasps> oh, this one's wow. like paint. That looks like when you make up um, corn flour to yeah. thicken sauces. And thin. It seems. Thin. Oh, that's my fave. Oh, really? Mmm, that's really nice. Really sweet. Oh, it is sweet. Really sweet. That's okay, I could drink that. Yeah. Might be, it might I could drink really a make... glass of that on its own. It might, um, it might make the tea really, really sweet. Um, like you say, it's a lot thinner than the other ones mm. as well. A bit more of a milk sort of... You want to try the, the, mm -hmm. the tea first? Mm. Yeah, that makes a nice tea. You can't taste it though. No. It well, taste I sweet. can't. No. No, I don't think it does. That's pretty good. Yeah, I really like that one. That's winning for me now. Ooh, I don't know if you can see what's happened Ooh. to that oat one. So there we go. There's an example of the curdling. <laughs> you might have to tilt can the camera. See the, it's the bit, maybe I'll show it. I'll show you at the end. That's not looking That's good. That's definitely curdling. Mm. Though. Yes. Ugh. It looks like a galaxy in there. Gross. Interesting. So the last milk is, I don't know what is in this. I guess it's just another kind of soy milk. Is it coconut? Cocoa dairy free. It looks like it's got coconut in it. So mm. there we go. This is coconut milk. Oh, I'm not sure about this one. <laughs> Should I sh <laughs> shaking it? I did kind of shake did it. Did you? Oh, it's very white again. It's very white, yes. How's it smell? It's not smell of anything. No. Mm -mm. No? It's all coconut. Yeah. If you like coconut, you're going to love that. You can probably make a decent curry out of it. Yeah. Maybe. And it's definitely a lot... Um, it's like the texture of the rice, water, uh, rice milk. It's a lot thinner. If you like coconut, you'd like it. It's fine in tea. They're all okay, apart from obviously the oat, which is now split. Yeah, that's fine in tea as well. You can't taste coconut. Isn't it interesting how strong it is in coconut flavour, but then when you add it to tea, it doesn't taste like coconut. Yeah, I guess the tea overpowers it. Yeah. I've heard good things about this one. Really? Now, th is this the one that we had yesterday? I don't know. Alpro Soya, that's what oh, we the, Oh, the brand, you mean? Yeah. Yes, it was. Okay. Um, it's chocolate milk. So it's just a chocolate version of that. Oh, Ooh, it's thick. Oh, that's really nice looking. Oh, you're going to like this, I think. Oh, I hope so. This won't be good in tea. <laughs> <laughs> no. Oh, it smells really chocolatey. It's like a milkshake. It's very thick. Oh, yeah, that's nice. That, yeah. It's lovely. Mm, that's really nice. Really chocolatey. Mm. More of like a sort of a cocoa powder kind of chocolate taste. Yeah. But that's wow. really nice, really thick. Like you say, a milkshake. Mm. So where would you rank these as uh, milk alternatives? Obviously this one being okay. just a drink. So I think the rice one is my favourite. And then the almond. Oh God. And then the oat and then that, I think. But if you're putting them in tea, then I need to switch those around because, yeah. Yeah, I would say to drink the rice because mm -hmm. it's nice and sweet. That one maybe makes the nicest tea. Yeah, definitely. 
Um, and the oats. I'm going to try the oat one in some porridge this week. Yeah, I think that's probably a good idea. Maybe I'll, I'll keep the others to Maybe try the Maybe I'll cereal, do the rice but... one on a, on a different cereal then. Yeah, you wouldn't want it on like a sweet cereal. Like... No, you want it on like bran flakes yeah, or something. Yeah, something mm, like, quite plain. Yeah, flavourless. Mm. That, was, that was eye-opening. I expected yeah. to hate them all, to be honest. I expected them to not really have much flavour. Yeah, I'm, I'm quite Especially impressed. Especially after um, yesterday's milk. Yeah, that just... chocolate one though is my favourite. Oh yeah, but that goes without saying. Yeah. <laughs> I think just uh, just remember to to shake them. Yes. Oh yeah, definitely. Right, shall we go make some dinner? Let's go make some dinner. Okay. Forgive the sound of the oven, but this is for dinner. Kebab, spiced, epic, veggie eating tofu, free range humans. So what? Is that it's tofu. To... There is humans in there though, or is it, it tofu? tofu. <laughs> Well, are we going to have our first tofu experience? Yes. Let's see. So, yeah, in it goes. Mmm, look at them fingers of tofu. So, yeah, we're having kebab for dinner with some chips, which you've seen me make plenty of times in week ons before. Some salad, some pizza breads, which are quite small. Um, so, I've done like two each, but we may, may end up not. Um, so, Grace doesn't like much onion. That's great as onion. I don't really like tomatoes. <laughs> That's Mike's onion. That's my onion. I like onion. So this, this is the meat. Tofu. Meat. Tofu. It smells nice. It smells nice. I wouldn't say it smells what? particularly kebab. It is tofu. Kebab -y. Tofu is the devil's No! Shit. <laughs> what is it? I don't know. <laughs> I think it's something to do with soya. Like beans. Oh. But did, were you expecting meat? No, I, I wasn't. Like, but I thought I was expecting like bacon or something. I don't know what bacon is, so. That's also soy. <laughs> I don't know. Is it? Maybe. Most of the things are. Well, all done. So, I guess it's time to uh, assemble. Right, well. Hmm. Oh my god, it's so messy. It smells good. <laughs> Is it a kebab? No. <laughs> I'm feeling this answer a lot. This has a, a, a weird, like, chickeny texture, though. It's nicely spiced. It's the closest thing we've had to meat so far. Not yeah. that we've had any imitation, really. You like it? It's okay. I'm not sure. <laughs> <laughs> we've got um, vegan mayonnaise as well. So. Mm, forgot to mention that. <laughs> Can you hear the cogs mm. ticking? It's really nice. Like you say, it does kind of have a texture of chicken. The spicing is lovely on it. Mm, it's quite hot, um, like spicy hot. Yeah, it doesn't taste like kebab spice though. Mm -mm. But there's definitely kind of a Middle Eastern kind of spice going on. Um, and the mayo itself... Which is... is <laughs> it's stuff. ...is quite nice. It does, ha it does remind me of mayo, but it's not, well, it's obviously not mayo, but um, yeah, it reminds me of mayo. Yeah, and the homemade chips, which are nice. Oh, I'm really full. Like, dinner was massive. I didn't finish it all, but it was, it was nice. It was really, really nice. Not kebab, but it'll do. It had the... The texture of chicken, the kind of the chew of chicken, but it wasn't chicken. There is still, and it's all psychological, I'm sure, there is still this part in my brain where it's saying, it's not meat, 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 it's not meat. And I kind of want to fill that hole with meat. Don't write that in the comments, because I know what you're thinking. Yeah, so, today was easier than yesterday. Maybe that's the menu choices, maybe that's the fact that I've now been 48 hours without meat. Maybe it's also because I've been 48 hours without pooping, because I haven't pooped for, 
for 48 hours. So getting a little banked up. So hopefully, <laughs> hopefully soon. But that was day two. It was all right, actually. Roast dinner was the best thing I've had so far. So hopefully it's going to continue being on the up. So if you want to see how I get on on day three, then please like the video, please subscribe, and I'll see you tomorrow.